everybody welcome back to my channel today we're filming somewhere a little bit different but that's because the lighting's really good in here so today we're gonna do part two of the wig making series I know it's been a really long time and I'm sorry it's taken so long to get to part two but here we're going to actually make the wig so today we're gonna make a wig for flick um, I want you to see how to make this kind of cyberpunk emo scene wig and um, it's got lots of different colors and I'm going to use two different techniques so come on with me let's get started for this tutorial you will need cling wrap a doll some rubber bands a glue gun preferably a cool glue gun a comb scotch tape and some scissors first we're going to construct a wig cap start by wrapping your doll's head in cling wrap today we're creating a hard wig cap if you want to create a soft wig cap there are many tutorials online that you can use in order to do so once you're done placing the cling wrap secure it with a rubber band around the neck Next, we'll take our scotch tape and begin constructing the wig cap. Take some tape and secure it around the doll's head in the area that you want the wig to be. Make sure you take special care to note where the hairline is going to be because this is going to be the basis for your wig. Continue placing tape around the doll's head until the head is completely covered. Now it's time to actually start making the wig. First we're going to use the weft method. Take your glue gun and draw a line approximately where the edge of the ears are. Remember this is not at the very bottom of the wig cap. Then take your first weft and place it along the glue line. It should look something like this. Now continue this glue line around the head to the other ear placing the wefts as you go. Now lift up the hair you just placed and cover the remaining part of the wig cap in glue. Let the hair back down and press it into the glue create a good solid cap. If you find any additional spots you need to cover, you can go ahead and do that now. With this method, you only want to make about three or four rows because the hair will be so thick. And in between each row, you want to go back and fill in the extra space with glue, just like we did with the first row. You can brush the hair as you go, but just know there will be some fallout. This is normal. Now we're going to move on to a method without wefts. Basically, you cut the hair fibers directly from the sticks instead of making the wefts, and this is a lot faster. With this method, you do have to practice to get clean edges, but I feel like you get a better part line in the end. You also have a little bit more control over the thickness of the wig, and you can place more rows. Here you can see I've cut the hair fibers that I want to use and I'm placing them directly on the glue. Note that this will be thinner than the weft layers, so you have to use more layers to get the same effect. 
To do this, you just make sure that your layers are closer together and then you can see any spots where you need to bulk things up. Continue placing your wefts or your fibers in this manner until you're about two thirds of the way up the head. Once you've completed a row, remember to fill in any interstitial space with glue and press the hair down so that it stays flat. Whenever you start a new row or even in the middle of a row, remember you can change colors and customize the wig however you like. Once you're about two thirds of the way up the head, it's easiest to set the part line. Here I've decided to do an off center part line. You want to place a line of glue right where you want the part line to be. Just go back as far as you want the part line to go. I usually make mine about an inch and a half long for mini fee. Then you want to take the fibers of the weft and place it in the opposite direction of the way that you want it to lay. Do this all the way down the part line. And remember I said opposite direction. This gets a little bit tricky so you have to really think about it. Once your part line is set, you want to flip the hair over to see what the part's going to look like. And there you have one side of your part. Here I decided to add a black highlight Make sure that if you're adding in little extra pieces, that they also go the opposite direction of how you want them to lay. Once you're happy with that side of the part, go ahead and draw a glue line right on the edge of it so you can press down the part and make sure that it isn't too fluffy. Now let's do the other side of the part. This is done exactly the same way as you did the first side. Remember you want to place the hair in the opposite direction of how you want it to lay in the end. You also want to place your glue line exactly next to the original part. It should look like this when you're done and when you pull it over it should make a nice part. I'm not going to glue this side down yet because I have a lot of other hair to fill in underneath it and I'm gonna do this last. I also decided to add some more black pieces to kind of fill it out. Once you're satisfied with the part, you want to finish the rest of the hair going around in rows. Now don't forget that there needs to be hair in the crown area as well. You need to do this in the exact same way as you did the part line and make sure that it faces the opposite direction that you want it to lay. Once you've covered the head, you can go back and place a glue line right next to the part so that it'll lay flat. Here I decided to go back and add some black pieces just to kind of fill out around the head because I felt like just two was not enough. With wig making, you can really just customize it any way you want and it's a lot of fun.
Once you're completely satisfied with how it looks, it's time to do some finishing touches on the wig and then it'll be done. First you want to remove the rubber band by cutting it off of the neck. Then carefully remove the wig and the wig cap from your doll's head. It may be really tight, so you might have to work at it for a minute. The good thing about it being so tight is that it will stay on really well. Now you want to take your scissors and cut away any excess cling wrap. Be very careful during this part so that you don't cut the actual wig. Once your wig is free, you're done, and you can see that there's a nice hard wig cap on the inside. Now you can try it on your doll. At this point, you can cut it or shape it or do whatever you want to to finish up the wig. And here's the finished product. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and it wasn't too difficult. Feel free to tag me on Instagram or Facebook with the wigs you make so I can see them. Again, thanks for coming by and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!